So let's start. And it's when I ask us for the new, let me all the events for today. Right? So we have the calendar here and you can see there are no events at all. Okay, this is today. I don't want to know why we're doing today's event. Could you please specify the time zone or let me know if you'd like to try again? Try again. There are no events, right? Uh, create a meeting with Ritesh at 4.30. Um, name could be KPI for 30 minutes. Now see the beauty? One or two. Let's say two. So check here. KPI call. You the only main thing today. Get the events. Get the events for big delete this. Try again. Okay, we go here. Let's go. Hello and welcome to day 40 of the NA10 series. In the last video, we saw how to build an NA10 agent that can take care of our Jimmy. In other words, we built an agent that will help us manage our Gmail via Telegram. In today's video, let's do something similar with regards to Google Calendar. So let's get started. So let's start from scratch and see how to build the calendar bot. And like last time, we'll use a Telegram and on message, um, we'll use uh, the same account. Right, and we could uh, click on execute step. So it's actually listening. And I'm going to start here. So it could have already captured. Let's send hello. And there you go, it has captured it. Now let's get this over here. And like we did last time, we'll use Telegram to send a message, text message. And we'll use the same account uh, chat ID is going to be this one. Uh, text is going to be, let's say, done. Let's see, let's go with this step. And we keep it this side. Now, we're going to build. Now, we're going to build two things one is text and one is audio. First, let's build the text and then we move on to audio. And because we are going to use two things one of the things that we need is feed and uh, this is going to be the message so let's make this as message okay execute step and the next step is going to be our AI agent so the prompt is going to be something like this AI agent instructions you are an AI assistant designed to manage calendar events for the user your capabilities include creating events, retrieving events, updating events, deleting events, get mail. Uh, important guidelines, always provide a name for the event when asked to create one, right? To update or delete an event, you must first retrieve the event ID using the get event tool. Without the ID, you cannot successfully edit or delete events, right? And so on and so forth. We have given some details here and we need the, the input, which is actually coming from here. Let's put that over here. Okay. Now, as always, we have to use a chat model. And this time we're going to use OpenAI's 4.0. We'll also use a simple melody like we did last time. And uh, this is going to be defined below. So because we know the ID, let me just uh, get from ID here. I'll name it as UID. Let me just try execute this. Let's go here. I'm going to get the ID here and then copy it there. Just an ID. I'll just copy this. Go here, paste this and keep the context length as 20. Okay, so we've got these things done. So let's start with our tools and it's going to be the calendar, Google Calendar tool. And we'll use uh, this account. Set automatically. Resource is going to be event. Operation is going to be get many. Right, so let's first get all the events from our calendar. So from list, we are going to select the account. Limit, it says 50. Uh, after now, before it says some filter already. After it has added now, and before it has added some filter already. Let's make it as defined by module. And we'll also go to fields and define by module. Okay, so this is available. So what we can do is click on save. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to trigger this first one. So let's run it for getting the events. And for that, I'm going to 
trigger this my task you get the events from today this is uh, captured here i'm going to run this and i'm going to run this so it called this one there are no events now let's move to this one because we have to use this trigger chat id this has got changed like last time we have to update this and we also have to update the text which is this output so and one more thing attribute can be removed and let's run this that's the problem by request please check your parameter let's quickly check the parameter looks okay to me item json message chat this should be id here okay and then execute there you go so we got this let's quickly go on to create the event and for that again we will do google calendar 2 this time this is going to be create we'll use uh, this account start is going to be defined by model end is going to be defined by model and that's all so let's click on save and let's activate this okay let's go here and ask could you please lead a meeting with Ritesh at abc.com from 7 p.m. for one hour before creating the meeting let me retrieve the emails associated so that i can connect confirm the correct details however as i do not currently have the get mail tool i'll proceed with scheduling the event with the given email let's proceed creating a meeting do you have a specific name um i can call it as uh, uh i can call it as call with ritesh i've successfully scheduled a call with ritesh from 7 to 8 so let's quickly check so no title added let's quickly check this one we have to add a summary and that needs to be defined by model let's go here click on save and i'm going to delete this one coming here and asking it the same thing title call with pratesh meeting title call with pratesh let's see and there you go so create event is done let's do update an event sorry calendar and uh, same account event this is going to be update and we'll use the same account event id is going to be defined by module we can add any descriptions attendees or anything right uh make it a summary defined by module okay and uh, of course the time start defined by module and and defined by module so whatever you want to be updated you can mention it as defined by module okay so let's click on save and we'll ask it to fetch the event fetch the event for me today and it shows this one could you please be born at by one hour so I've not asked it to change anything else i just asked it to pre pwn so it should be from six to seven now okay so let's quickly check and it is from six to seven right so that's what uh, update an event does for us let's quickly add delete an event so again calendar and this time it is going to delete the same account and event id is going to be defined by module so let me click on save and i'll ask it to delete this event spelling mistake has been successfully deleted so let's go and it is not there one last thing is we'll connect this to gmail and here we're going to use get many okay we are going to use this so that if we give a particular name the tool can actually fetch the email address of those users i'll show you how so let's make it as written all simplify is already enabled and here we're going to have sender which is going to be defined by module 
okay so we've got this one as well and let's click on save let's quickly check here if the name is good enough i think it's able to understand because none of this we have uh, renamed it and it's still able to execute all of those but let me just rename for ease of use now there is no event for today i'm going to ask it could you create an event with Ritesh? and it says it seems i couldn't find any recent emails with from Ritesh at evcd.com would you like to proceed with creating event with this email address or is there anything else you'd like to adjust uh not this one the other mail address of Ritesh. and this is coming out because of the context right i had asked it to create with this particular Ritesh, and that's why it's showing you that so let's quickly check what happens now now you see it is actually fetched the emails uh, let's proceed with second one please provide a title uh call with Ritesh. date and time tomorrow at 4 pm for 30 minutes and there you go call with Ritesh. and that's how you build a bot that can actually engage with your calendar via telegram of course this can also be built using whatsapp now what we will do is we will move all of this to this side because we have to get the voice message as well and for that let's uh, click on execute because we have to get the oh, no this is pinned can i remove from this one now let me click on execute okay let me delete this let's execute this the device of limitation oh yeah we have to deactivate this if you have to get the trigger okay so it's waiting i'm going here and sending a voice note i have to allow could you please uh schedule a call with ritesh for tomorrow at 4 pm and title it call with ritesh sign this and we should receive that here now let's use a switch case and so if we have this voice uh it's not empty voice exists basically then we'll make it as um uh, voice um otherwise it could be the other case would be this one so again string exists this is going to be text right let's click on execute step uh object but was exporting a string okay so we could just uh as soon as there is oh okay let's uh use this let's check there you go voice so this is the voice let's go to telegram and we have get a file we'll use this account and the file id is coming from here right and click on execute step you're going to get this file next we're going to use gemini and transcribe our recording so we could use any of the models right let's say 2.5 flash and this is going to be binary file and that's the tala this is file underscore id not data and let's execute step show data don't change it and ensure this so let's execute and you can see it. could you please schedule a call with Ritesh for tomorrow at 4 pm and titled call with Ritesh right so once we have got this let's add a field like we did here Okay, and that's gonna be the same thing message and uid so here they're going to get the message which is this text this is going to be the message and we will have uid which is basically coming from here let's execute this tab cut those details and if it is text then connect with 
Now we can connect this over here and run this particular module. And you can see, I, I found the following email associated with Ritesh. So it will give us the email and the same thing will follow further. So let's click on save. Let's tidy this up. So this is the board that can not just respond to text, but also the voice notes and schedule or do any actions with regards to our Gobi calendar. I hope this was helpful and I'm looking forward for you to build something similar using WhatsApp. And once you do so, please share it in the community. And if you have still not joined the community, please do join our WhatsApp community because the rest of the magic is happening there. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the other side.